welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hello, hi everyone. Guys, we are at Steak and Shake. It occurred to me we have not done a Steak and Shake review, and I haven't had it in years. And I think the only Steak and Shake Dad had was a hot dog like a long time ago. It was a long, it it was a like, long time ago. Like a year and a half ago, we had a hot dog from there. Two years ago. Yeah, something like that. So we haven't had Steak and Shake in forever. Um, <laughs> that being said, I didn't know what to pick out. I got Dad a burger, okay, a double a original steak double burger. And he wanted lettuce, tomato, mayo, and onions right. and on it. That's what I asked for. Um, hopefully they got it on there. Um, it had been so long since I'd been to Steak and Shake. I remember back in the day, I'm talking years and years ago, when Steak and Shake was relatively new for us anyway. I got a five-way, a chili five-way, and I got that today. I remember liking it back in the day, so I'm wondering if I'm going to like it today. We don't know. I also ordered onion rings. Dad got fries with his. Sandwiches. I'm going to shut up and get it out of here, guys. Got my table out here. We're going to try out some onion rings, too. I want to get Dad started on his sandwich, but I'm also trying to figure out where all my stuff is in here. Okay. Oh man, I'm glad that lid didn't come off, guys. I pulled this out of the box and <laughs> it was like sideways. Good thing. Oh, I'm glad it didn't come off. Um, I'm gonna give Dad a couple napkins. So, guys, we're gonna rate this stuff. One being the worst, ten being the best, or somewhere in between. And we all and we ask you if that sounds good to you please subscribe guys show that subscribe button some love it's down below click it boop it smash it it's free it's easy and if you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe we understand but can you take a few extra seconds and hit the like the thumbs up on this video that's the easiest way you can support us it helps us it helps the videos get pushed out to more people the more thumbs up we get so please can you please take that extra few seconds and hit the thumbs up and we truly appreciate you for it if you do that, don't we, Dad? Every bit helps. Okay. And before we start eating, too, guys, I've had quite a few people. I want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers. I'm not singling anybody out or anything, but Mark from Massachusetts said he would love to hear us shout him out. So, Mark, this one's for you, buddy. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching every day. Uh, Dad, you want to say anything to Mark? It's good thing we got to know you, Mark. Yeah. So thank you anyway, Mark from Massachusetts. And like I said, I'm not singling anybody out. Thanks, everybody who watches every day. I, I talk to you on comments, so please keep leaving the comments. And I just wanted to say that. I don't want anybody to feel like they're being left out. Guys, we appreciate you so, so much. So Dad got the original burger. And if you're new to the channel, too, we'd like to make you aware. Dad has macular degeneration, guys. It's a progressive vision loss. He can see light, and he can see dark, but he can't make out detail. So I do check his stuff for him. And um, let's, let's take a real quick look at this. I have a feeling it's going to be a little messy, Dad, but... It's okay. So he's got his lettuce. Lettuce is hanging off here. Tomato. There's onion underneath there. They actually did get the mayo on there. Good. Then two, he got the double because they're a little thin. Oh, okay. I told him it was thin smash burger, so he said that that double would be good. I'm just gonna hand it to you and let you go. Oh. We got some fries and onion rings to try out too, but once you get started on that, guys. It's since I've been back to Steak and Shake, I didn't know that you can get uh, Frisco sauce in a tub, so I got some of that to dip my onion rings in. Got Dad some ketchup. Man, these are small. So this was the, he got a burger and a drink, okay, and a fry. Look how small this fry is, and there might be a couple at the bottom, but look how small this fry is. Um, but I can't gripe too much. The price was, for his combo, $7.65 total, okay? Guys, I just don't have room for all this stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Here's a fry if you want to grab and eat one with your, with your food, Daddy. The fries don't taste very fresh. I just ate one. They're the thin fries. 
They don't taste very fresh. My five way comes with like little oyster crackers. I'm not gonna put them in. I'm gonna leave that in the bag. I'm get my little chintzy fork out here. I should have brought some forks from home. I gotta try one of these onion rings before I even get started on this five way. I don't have any room here, guys, for food. This is horrible. Dad's so busy with this thing. I'm gonna dip Frisco sauce on the onion ring. Come here for a second, Dad. You got a piece of lettuce or something on your nose. I got it. <laughs> it's like a little piece of lettuce. Okay. I like Frisco sauce on the inner. Now this was a large onion ring, so I'm kind of happy with the size of these onion rings. The large come in a big, bigger tub, and there's quite a few rings in here. So here's the five wood, guys. It's chili, uh, spaghetti cheese and onions and beans that's the five way i gotta try this out i remember liking this so we'll see we'll see i remember liking this over like I, skyline chili or gold star chili i don't like that stuff guys so i remember liking this more than that i gotta find out though okay this has got like a uh, like a sweet flavor, almost like a barbecue. Man, this is messy in the car. <laughs> Need a napkin. I got it on my chin. Can't find the napkins, guys. Past the table. That's a messy sandwich. And it's, the bread's like slipping over. Yeah. Um, the large. Here in Ohio, the large onion rings is $3.89, which isn't bad because there's a lot of onion rings in here, guys. I've spent $3.89 on a small onion ring before, so I mean, I'm not mad at that. This chili five-way is $6.19. Guys, they charge me $0.40 cents for this little cup of Frisco sauce. $0.40. Cents. I, I think it's crazy for them to charge for sauces. I feel like at least if you buy two meals, you should at least be able to get a couple sauces without having to be charged, right? I d Why? I don't understand. Now, if I ask for six Frisco sauces, I can understand charging somebody. But I, they gave me one for 40 cents. Excuse me. I'm trying to decide whether I like this chili as much as I liked it back in the day. Like I said, it's got like a, uh, almost like a barbecue sauce flavor. It's kind of sweet. Okay. I, I'm really thinking hard about this. This is a good burger. You like it? No, this is good. This is a burger. Excuse me. The only thing about my um, five way, okay. It, I like the raw onions on it. If I got it again, I would definitely ask for more raw onions. I like that flavor on there. The sauce is like a sweet, kind of like a barbecue-y um, chili. It kind of reminds me of the chili at um, Texas Roadhouse. Have you ever had t uh, chili at Texas Roadhouse? Oh, That's damn. what. Yeah, this is what that chili tastes like. It's kind of got that barbecuey, kind of like a barbecue flavor, a little smoky, a little sweet. Um, the only thing that's really bugging me about this is, is the noodles are pretty mushy. And if you've watched some of our videos, I have an issue with mushy pasta noodles. It. it, it 
kind of turns me off a little bit. Um, good thing that the the onions and the cheese and stuff is pulling it through for me. I just wish the the noodles weren't as mushy. If the noodles weren't as mushy, I would definitely give this a higher score. Okay, is it my favorite thing? No. Does it taste as good as it did back in the day? It tastes about the same to me. It tastes about the same to me. I gotta think of what kind of score I would give this. I have no idea right now. I'm gonna open Dad up a ketchup so when he gets to his fries and his onion rings, he has ketchup to dip. Guys, what's your favorite thing at Steak and Shake? I heard Steak and Shake were having problems. Like, I heard that it might be one of those restaurants that, uh, might, uh, what do you call that? Like, go out of business. Um, is that true? Does anybody have any insight on that? I kind of heard that Steak and Shake was one of those ones that was really struggling to keep in business. I don't know. Um, because I remember back in the day, a few years ago, their menus used to be like more extensive than they are now. I feel like they, they're not as extensive now. I used to love getting shakes from them, um, strawberry shakes. I thought about getting one today, but I figured it was just too much to, too much to juggle and eat. And well, since Dad is finishing up that last of that sandwich, while he's finishing that up, I'm gonna explain our rating scale really, really quick. I'm gonna ask Dad to think about what you want to say okay. about that sandwich and what you want to score it. But our rating scale, guys, is a five or lower is that thing is garbage. Don't waste your money. Get something else. A six to a seven is it's, eh, we'd eat it, but we really wouldn't recommend it. Anything above a seven, we recommend. The closer it gets to a ten, we highly recommend. And we rarely give out tens, guys. We only give out tens as special something that knocks our socks off or the thing that tastes so good you can't imagine it tasting any better. Those are perfect tens. Would you? French fries? Yeah, those are French fries. I got some ketchup here. No. But I got it like in a thing you'd have to okay. dip it in. I don't know if you want. The fries didn't taste very fresh to me. They, uh, and they're real thin. They're the real the shoestring potatoes. And I kind of wondered if you would eat them. You don't want to dip any ketchup. You don't want to dip ketchup. I wanted some ketchup, but uh, I wanted some potatoes to okay. taste them. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm have you get a sip here, but I kind of want to get your insight on that burger because okay. I don't want you to forget what you want to say about that burger and how you're going to rate it. So that original uh, steak, double steak burger is what it was. It was number one on the menu. Oh, he's still chewing. I don't want him to. You take your time down. I swallowed the last bite. Okay, I just I didn't want you to choke. What do you think about that cheeseburger? The cheeseburger was excellent. You like it? Excellent. Okay. It was nine and nine. Nine out of and ten. Nine. Okay. Um, how does the seasoning on the meat? Is the meat any like? It, is there anything that stands out to you why it makes it a nine to you? The onion. Okay. The extra onion on it. So I, I think he likes the idea that you can get what you want on it, you right? You can get a slice of onion on it. Yeah, you can get whatever you want. Onion, lettuce, tomato, pickle, whatever. All he got was lettuce, tomato, and onion. And they did put, when yeah, we asked for it onion. Good, it ever tastes good. Every bit tastes good. It tastes really good. It tasted salty enough, seasoned uh, enough. The bun was burger. Uh, bun uh, was good. It was soft and fresh. Yeah. And the hamburger was. Uh, I could use. You could use back uh, one burger. One, so you still would. You still was single. Would still be good for you. One beef of patty would have been plenty. Okay. Uh, I thought since they were thin, it would. Tomato and onion and uh, lettuce was great. It was great. I, I, I tell you, it was it was great. So you really enjoyed that steak burger. Wow. All right. What do you think about these fries, Dad? You want a couple more just to find out? They're not very fresh, guys. So uh, I, I want. I, I know if they were fresh, I think they'd be a little bit better. 
but they're not very fresh. They didn't come to us fresh. Because as soon as I pulled them out, they looked a little wilty. Yeah, they're not. They haven't tasted they any better. They have no salt on them, no nothing. I mean, what score would you give those fries the way we got them, Danny? I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even buy them. Give them a score. One out of ten. Five. Guys, I'd give them a three. I'd give them a three right now. They're garbage. I feel like they're just, they're sad. I'm going to throw them back in the bag because I, I don't see us eating them. They're not very good. They're, they're not, they're not. Would you like to try some of these onion rings, Dad? Try, okay. try one of the onion rings. I'm just going to pass it because I think it would be easier instead of trying to. I kind of wish they put more salt on them. I want you to try this Frisco sauce, okay? I'm going to dip this onion ring in some Frisco sauce. It's kind of like a sweet... Kind of like a Russian dressing, kind of. I want you to see what you think about the Frisco sauce on the onion ring. Do you feel like the onion rings need more salt? Yes. Okay. Then you need more salt. Yeah. But the they're onion rings uh, taste pretty good. They're not super bland. Yeah, they got a good... Hold on a second. They got a pretty good taste to them. They got a pretty good onion taste to them. Yeah. I like the breading on it. It's that thinner, like, um... Like, almost like a beer batter breading, but it's not beer batter. But, you know, like that thinner batter on it. It's not the real, like, thick, crunchy, the real, like, grainy-like batter. It's the thinner batter. And I like that about them. And the uh, extra sauce that what, you put you think on of, it. Yeah, what do you think about that sauce? It was, it was nothing to add, add, to, the, add to the sandwich. Or add to, to the, the onion rings? Onion rings. It adds to me. I love the Frisco I sauce. I think uh, it's a uh, good sauce. You want to try uh, a fry in that sauce? No. Okay. I don't. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I want to try one of these little rubbery fries, and a couple of these little rubbery fries in that sauce. So the onion rings, what kind of score would you give those? I mean, you're a big onion ring fan. Do you like these better than some, or I don't... I'll revise, I'll revise that. I would not, I would not buy it. Buy what? Buy the onion rings. Yeah, mean, they're, they're not... No, the french fries. Okay, I'm off of the french fries. We've already, we've already discussed the french oh, fries. Yeah. They're, they're not, they're not discussable now. They're off the table. These okay. things are not good. They're not good. Um, I know they're good if they're fresh. I can tell you that much, but ours are not fresh. We're on to these onion rings. We want another onion ring just to double check what score you want to give it. I don't know what it is, what it is, but I will eat. I eat another eat one. Another anyway. one, just to make sure you know what your <laughs> score is. I'm glad I got a large in the onion ring. <laughs> I was craving that today. I don't know why. All the onion rings that needed a little bit more salt. Yeah, a little more salt. Yeah. And they taste uh, okay. Oh, yeah. I like that batter on them. Sometimes you want that really, really crunchy batter, like the, the kind that's almost like a, like a panko breading batter. But sometimes you want, like, the thinner crunchy batter, the thinner stuff, like the beer batter. These definitely aren't beer batter, but they have that thinner coating on them. The onions have a good taste. What score are you going to get those onion rings? Eight and a, eight and a half. 8.5? Yep. The, the, the only thing is the sand salt. Yeah. I'm going to give them an eight. I think they're a good, solid eight. I would get them again if that's what I'm in the mood for is my onion rings. I would get them again. I would do. Okay. I would not mess with them. Okay. What are, you, what are you reaching for? And I can help you. Uh, the the onion, onion ring. Onion. Okay. So let me get rid of these. <laughs> let me get rid of these off. 
I'm just gonna hand you the onion ring thing because there's like three more. No, I'm gonna hand you the whole thing, Deb. Okay. I don't want to try to eat some of my spaghetti. <laughs> I'm trying to hand. There. I'm trying to hand them to you. Right, now before you took another bite, hold on. Before you take another bite, I, I, I gotta ask you something. I know I should just let him eat, right, guys? But I really gotta ask him something. This Frisco sauce, you didn't like it on the onion rings, but do you think you would like it like on a burger? I think it. Or? I think it's uh, good on the onion rings, but it, I don't think it has to add anything to it. Oh, okay. Uh, I, the onion ring stands by itself. Okay. Well, the salt and the the the, the uh, Frisco sauce is a good tasting sauce. Yeah. Um. I just wondered if you thought the Frisco sauce would be good, like on a burger or something. Like instead of mayo or whatever, put that Frisco sauce on a burger. Do you think it would be good? That little bit of sweet kind of flavor on a burger. You think it'd be good? You don't really know? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Guys, let's talk about my five-way chili. I'm going to take one more bite here. One more bite. I've got it on my face again. On my chin. Okay. This five-way chili. The chili is sweet. It's smoky. It tastes like barbecue sauce, okay? Now, I'm not saying that's bad. I just want you to know that it's not like the typical chili, okay? It's not like a typical, it's got the tomato flavor, but it's leaning more towards like a sweet barbecue sauce. If you've ever had chili at Texas Roadhouse, that's what their chili kind of tastes like, is a barbecue, sweet barbecue sauce. And that's what this has got. I don't mind it. I really don't. I just wish my noodles weren't so mushy, okay? If my noodles weren't so mushy, I would, I would really, really love this. Um, I'm trying to think of a score. It tastes about the same as it did back in the day. I, I gotta be honest. Uh, it's like a 7.5. If you've had the Texas Roadhouse chili and it being sweet and barbecue flavored and that didn't bug you, um, I would say try this uh, five-way chili at, um, at Steak and Shake. Now you can get it as three-way. So three-way I think is just, they're testing our alarm system, our emergency alarm system. Yeah, I think you can get it as a three-way, which is I think cheese, chili, and the noodles, and without the bean. So, I mean, if you don't like the bean, I don't necessarily eat have to have the bean. The bean doesn't really <coughs> add much to it. I love the onions on it. The raw onions, I love that on there. Yeah. I gotta stick with 7.5. It's, it's it's okay. Um, I'm happy I got it because I can eat it and I and I enjoy it. It's just not something I'd say, to recommend to everybody. You know what I mean? I'm not saying everybody go get in your car and go to Steak and Shake and get this uh, five way chili uh, chili five way. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. If you know what how I just explained it, if you know a little bit mushy noodles don't bug you. And if the chili being sweet and kind of barbecue-y flavored wouldn't bug you or if that sounds like up your alley, I'd say try this if you've never tried it. Um, like I said, guys, comment below. Is there any, is, do you have a favorite milkshake, a favorite thing, whatever, at Steak and Shake? Comment below. I'd love to hear it and we'd love to try it. We haven't had Steak and Shake much, much. So it'd be kind of cool to try some things that you guys think is the greatest thing at Steak and Shake. That's it, guys. I, I recommend the, the, the hamburger and the, uh, the, the onion, onion rings. rings. Yeah, I like the onion rings. Too. The onion rings. And uh, the hamburger is excellent, and the onion rings are great. The, uh, the what kind of sauce? Food in my face. The Frisco sauce? The Frisco sauce. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it don't taste bad. It tastes good. But it don't add anything to the onion rings. It's the salt? Well, the salt would add to the onion rings. Onion rings, rings yeah. But uh, I'd recommend the onion rings to, to the people. If you've never had this Frisco sauce, I'm going to try to tell you like the. That's the easiest way here. 
I'm gonna try to tell everybody what it tastes like. If you've never had the Frisco sauce, I just gotta I gotta tell you what it tastes like. It's like ketchupy based. It is a lot like Russian dressing or Thousand Island dressing. It's got that tang with that little bit of sweet. That's the flavor of it, like Big Mac sauce. It's like in that area of flavors, okay? It's a good flavor. Yeah. They have a Frisco burger where it's like a patty melt and they put this Frisco sauce on it. Oh, I and know. And I used to get those all back in the day. But the last time I got one, the bread was so oily and not crispy. And it was just so... It was just bad. Okay, guys. Uh, and I didn't want to get that today. But I knew I wanted to try the Frisco sauce because I've never had it in a cup before. And a shout out to my girl, uh, Cindy. Cindy and Ken are best friends of mine. Cindy made homemade Frisco sauce one time. More than one time. But she made it and I was there and we had dinner. She made um, Frisco burgers at home. Uh, patty melts. Frisco burgers. The uh, Steak and Shake knockoff. I ate so many. I I ate a burger at meal time. I ate a burger later. She, that's the she made it so good. It still sticks in my mind how well she made steak and shake. She put steak and shake the shame on their Frisco burger. She made homemade ones. So shout out, shout out to you, Cindy. So many years ago for doing that. It's still stuck in my mind that those that homemade Frisco sauce and Frisco burgers you made. The, you that know, was good. Uh, maybe they will go good with hamburger. It, I, I have, yeah. It's just good sauce. Mm -hmm. I love it. We give a seasoning with the uh, burger and which goes good. Yeah, it's kind of like a Big Mac sauce. So yeah. I liked it on their burgers. Um, maybe we'll have to try that sometime. Get you the burger. Try Instead it. of getting mayo, put some of this Frisco sauce on it. We'll see. Try it. Okay, Try guys. See, see what it uh, does. Okay, guys. I'm getting full. Yeah. I'm, I'm, We've talked your I ear the, off. I eat the onion rings and I'm getting full. This is probably one of our longest review videos. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. Are uh, you ready to let these guys go then, Dad? Ready uh, to yes. let them go? Yes. Okay, guys. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys, God bless. Come back tomorrow, see what we're eating, see what we're reviewing, see if we like it or not. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.